Hello everybody! Previously, we familiarized ourselves with the user interface. Next, we are going to learn a little bit about how to modify the interface to our own tastes. We've seen that the user interface consists of the canvas and dockers. In this lesson, we will learn how to add and remove dockers and how to move dockers around. First, let's add a docker. I click on Settings, Dockers, and I see a list of the available dockers. I can check a docker to add it. Here we see that I've added the pallet docker. And I can uncheck the docker to remove it again. Furthermore, I can move the dockers around. Click and hold on the menu bar of the docker, then drag it where you want it. If I drag the docker above the canvas, the docker floats. I can also dock the docker in the window by moving it to one of the window edges. The light blue rectangle shows where the docker will end up when I release the button. I have a particular way that I like to arrange the docks, the dockers, because I find it more convenient like this. You can arrange the dockers any way you like, it's completely up to you. To avoid confusion, I will now show you how I like to arrange the dockers. First of all, I like to have my toolbar all the way on the right. Next, I put my layers docker on the left. I put the brush presets below the layers. And I put the advanced color selector and the color slider in the same place as the brush presets. I rarely use the specific color selector, so I'm going to close it. And the two options I put all the way at the bottom. Now I'm going to resize the dockers a bit. I want the canvas to be as big as possible, so I decrease the width of the left and the right dockers. I also like to see as many layers as possible in one go, so I'm going to make my layers dockers longer. I think that was pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. In the next lesson, we will be talking about basic shapes. Bye for now.